people aren't sitting at their phones like the trance is going oh, on. They're waiting right now. I, mean, I know we got some people waiting. So. Hey guys, welcome to our very first episode of the Plum Positive Show, coming to you Facebook Live. We got Brandon, myself, A. Rizzle, Aaron Carlin. Hey, hey Ron, what's going hey, on? Ron, you know how it goes. Uh, man, we're super, super excited about this. It's been something that uh, I know we've been talking about for why? Let's see. Let's see. We've been in business now for two over, years. Over two years. Over two years. And yeah. I think uh, we were talking about it before we even become a business. So, to actually be sitting here talking to you guys uh, live, it's awesome. I'm super excited about. It. So, we're plum excited. This is plum. this is this is plum tastic. Yes. About to have a good time tonight. So. Yes. Um, I had to change shirts. That's kind of weird. We were sitting here. Uh, I thought I had a good shirt picked out, and I guess because of. Uh, awesome backdrop here with the green screen i didn't like it so the first episode uh stuff that pops up so but i'm positive about it hey i'm staying positive you got to uh i see we got some people joel welcome joel uh thanks for joining us brother i know i'll be getting you on uh joel sandman great bni partner and he's going to be uh joining us soon as well uh he says he's getting ready for episode 24. <laughs> so, hey, this is Erica Wall. So, we got some, we got some in here. All right. We got everybody kind of chiming in here. Man, my mic was muted the whole time. You see? We always doing this. Hey, episode one. Jitters. Episode one. We got the jitters. mic not working, but they probably could hear you from my mic, hopefully. They so. probably could. I'm sure they could. So now my mic is working, and I'm clear, right? Don, I got Donnie, Donnie D Productions, Donovan Durham on the other side here. If I had something I could show, but I, I don't. So a uh, big shout out to Donnie, Donnie D Productions for uh, putting this thing together, helping us get this thing up and running and uh, taking our dreams and making it happen, bro. Appreciate you. Donnie D, you the man. Yep. So, uh, so all right, man. Well, um, we're going to kind of get into it a little bit. Um, so episode one, the big why. So the big why? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. Do you know what that means? <laughs> do we have anything to talk about tonight? I think we do. Nah. All right. Nah, we do. I'll we got some big later. things to talk about. The big why? That's what episode one's about. So Brandon's gonna jump, jump right in, and let's get things going. Let's do it. Let's, let's get do this it, show popping. All right. First and foremost, thanks for joining us tonight. We really do appreciate it. I know it's a little late, so we're not going to keep a lot of your time, but we're going to get to some really cool stuff. We're going to talk a little bit about the big why, uh, the six keys to the big why. Um, but first and foremost, before we even jump into that, um, Brandon Redman, Aaron Carlin, we're the owners of Transus Rooter and Plumbing. A lot of you guys are customers, friends, family, use us. You may be just chiming in to see what the heck the, the, what this is all about. Uh, you may have just stumbled upon us. Um, but a lot of people know us because of our plumbing company, and that's why we're even sitting here. That's why it's Plum Positive uh, Show. Um, but I want to kind of get into a little bit about us. So a lot of people see what we're doing and kind of all of that stuff, but they don't really know the behind the scenes and kind of who we are. So, um, I'm going to kind of let Aaron talk a little bit about his self. I'll talk a little bit about myself so we can just kind of get a quick intro of one another. So, uh, you'll hear me call him Rizzle. Um, so we've known each other for like 15, 16, I don't even know. It's been a long time. Um, so that's his nickname that, uh. Almost, almost 20 almost years. Almost 20 years. So, uh, God, we're getting old, fam. 
Time's flying. Hey, you had hair back in the day. I did. <laughs> uh, but uh, so Rizzle, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, yeah. About myself. Let's see, I'm old. Yes, we. we I'm we older than I look, but that's that's a good thing. That's, I'm plum positive about that because <laughs> I look younger than I am. But so how about me? So we uh, so we've been friends for a long time. Um, I guess background, professional background was uh, I did customer service jobs for many, many years, starting out when I was younger. I got into uh, the financial industry for the past seven years. Um, also, I've done some house flipping, so I've done some real estate uh, things in the past. Uh, what else? It's, I mean, sung, man. I mean, we oh, talk yeah. about that singing career. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I grew up singing in church, and uh, had a band. Oh, had a church band, and we uh, we were friends, and we got together, created a band. We did an album back in 2012, I think. So that's already been eight years ago. But uh, yeah, did the whole music thing. Still dabble a little bit, sing some you know, praise and worship here and there. But I uh, got that going. Um, started the plumbing company two year, a little bit over two years ago. It's been a Three years ago, we got together and yeah. you know, we talked about forming it. But before we get into all that, um, any questions for me? I mean, I got lots of questions okay. for you. I'm still trying to get to know you. That was so kind we'll of a, that, uh, that was kind of a real short brief. Nah, yeah, I'll be brief. But yeah. uh, Brandon, go ahead. What, what, yeah. Tell us about yourself. So Brandon Redman, uh, former president of the United States of America. Uh, oh, uh, um, no. So for me. Um, uh, Transus was uh, what I was born into. Obviously, we're Redmonds. The Transus name started in '51. We'll get a little bit into more detail with that. So I grew up uh, working for my grandfather back in the in the uh, '90s and stuff like that. Whenever I could, you know, j just get my workers permit. I had a workers permit. And I was working for him. So you know, in this, as a summer job and stuff. Um, moved on, had a passion at 14 years old, had an, a burning passion. I played baseball all the way up to I was 14, had a burning desire to, uh, try this golf thing. And, uh, that golf thing kind of took me to the next step of my life where, uh, I was in the golf industry for 10 years, eight of those 10 years. I was with a nonprofit organization. Um, it was, it was an awesome experience, um, yeah, became a national golf coach. Um, loved teaching youth. That was kind of my passion. And, uh, I mean, I've dabbled in other things here and there, but uh, I would say that's kind of the focus of what I did and where I came from. Learned a ton about a nonprofit. Learned a ton about the business world, you know, which, you know, has really helped me get to where we are today. Um, so, you know, for Aaron and I, that's kind of who we are. Us together. We met um, when I was a senior in high school. I was dating a girl that uh, went to his church, and we started, um, I don't know, we just started hanging out. Almost like day one, we kind of talked and kind of found that we had some things in common. And so I become part of the youth group back in 2003. That's when it was, because that's when I was a senior in high school. It was before I graduated. So you had just graduated, and you graduated in 2002, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he graduated. What'd you graduate from? I don't remember that. Uh, Parkland High School. <laughs> you had to think about that every second. I remember. <laughs> North Davidson High School for me. Um, so anyways, that's kind of where we came in. We had our passion of music. I've always sung. And um, so anyways, it was, uh, it, was really, it was really cool. And uh, that's, that's kind of how our relationship brought up. Uh, he was the best man in my wedding. And I was in his wedding. So, uh, so you know, it was, uh, it, was, it was pretty cool. Uh, uh oh, we have some te technical difficulties here. What we got going on? Did it die? It's about dead. Uh, if y'all can hear us, please bear with us for a second. We're having a little uh, technical issues. We can edit that, edit that later. <laughs> we can't edit live, bro. <laughs> can't edit live. We got a lot of people chiming Let's in. Let's talk though. about the comments. So we got some comments yeah, coming in. Yeah, we got in. some stuff coming in here. Probably got... saying, "Hey, your screen went, <laughs> your screen went blank." Uh, yeah, we got my wife in here. Got Tiffany in here. Ryan, what's up, Ryan? Got my mother. My mother chimed in. You know, that's awesome. Josh Foster, what's up? Yep. Hey, Vicky Boy says, uh, "That's my baby, by the way." That's how I call her baby. She says, "Hey, uh, picture's gone." Yep. We can hear you though. Thank you, Crystal. So I'm glad y'all can still hear us. Um, 
we're working on that behind the scenes right now. So uh, just bear with us, please. Uh, Lynette says hello. So uh, we're just going to kind of continue on until we get picture back, but y'all can at least hear us. Yeah, you can maybe – are you able to switch to the uh, webcam maybe? Yeah, if we might have to go webcam. We'll just keep talking. We'll keep talking. All right. But, uh, but anyway, so we're, we're, we're working that out. Um, but we're going to kind of continue into the six keys tonight of um, the big why. So we're going to cover a little bit about why the heck we even are doing this tonight and uh, why we started the Plum Positive Show. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about our story. Um, we're also going to talk a little bit about our company. I think tonight's just one of those things. We want to kind of let you get to know us and Trans, who's Ruder and Plumbing, and talk a little bit about our team. We're going to talk about why our team loves working here, because I think that's important. Uh, this is not coming from the owners. I'm actually going to be having a lot of our team, team members come in and, and talk to you as well. Um, and we are going to be talking a little bit about uh, why we want the forever customer. You know, because that's important. We're going to talk a little bit about that. And then uh, last but not least, why you should find your why and stay positive through it all. So I know we're still working on, uh, on this stuff, so we're going to jump right into it. Uh, so um, here we go. Why we started the Plum Positive Show. I'm going to talk about it. Let's Preach. talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, so like I kind of uh, talked a little bit about, we kind of jumped into this, really wanted to do this. this. This goes back to like five or six years ago for me. I really wanted to start something when I was at my nonprofit because I thought it would be really cool. Um, and I always kind of wanted to do something like this. It didn't work. It didn't work out. So uh, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to, uh, I wanted to start it. It didn't work out. So anyways, Aaron and I, we're like, hey, he was actually doing a little bit of podcast. So, so anyways, we started it, we jumped into it, and it literally, <laughs> I literally said something like, hey, I think it was July 4th, I called you, I was like, I got it, Plum Positive, I got the show name, let's do it. So here we are, I mean, like six days later, we're doing it. That's how quick we jumped in on this thing. So, um, Joel, Joel got me cracking up over here. Joel and Ryan going back and forth a little bit here on me. He says uh, he was telling me today about how <laughs> how mean you were on a high school uh, in high school. And yes, Joel, you were. I hear the stories. I wish I could have played with you. Uh, so <laughs> that's funny. But anyways, so the why we started this was something because you know, and I know Aaron can talk a little bit about this too. But the world sucks, sucks bad. So it's always everything you see. Uh, and the media is all about negativity. I mean, even on Facebook, which we're live right now, I mean, golly, it's, it's, it's constant negativity on Facebook. I mean, you have people coming in and out of social media, dropping it. They don't want to be on it anymore, and then they'll come back to it because of just the negativity that they see every day. So, you know, we wanted to do something different. We wanted to bring a positive um, platform. Yeah, to all, all your social media platforms right now are filled with negativity, your Instagram, your Twitter, your Facebook, whatever you, your, your TikTok, I don't know. But yeah. all that's with negativity, so we're trying to, you know, fill, fill your uh, social media up with some positivity, or yeah. at least try to get a spot in there. But I think we got video back. That's awesome. Hopefully there's no lag. I think we're good. Are we good? Are we good, Donnie? Donnie. Donnie came through. All right. Um, so, yeah. So, and, and that's just, that's the big spin on this. That's why we started that. So that's the big why. Of your why mom says uh, she loves you. Oh, I, mom, mom, I love you too. Um, but yeah, so I think that's one of the biggest reasons why we started this, and we are we're super excited about where this is going to take, you know, where this is going to kind of take off at, is because we're going to have tons of people that are going to come on. We're only doing this once a week right now, but we'd like to do more eventually. Um, but right now we're going to kind of slow roll it as we, you know, still are working out technical difficulties and stuff like that. But you know. We really want to showcase people that are doing some positive things in our community. Um, I want to hear from local businesses what you guys are doing um, that that are you know that's keeping uh, you know the community together. And I mean, there's there's the story, especially with the all this COVID nineteen stuff. There's tons of leaders out there, business owners, people in the community that have stepped up, stepped up and done positive things. So. We're gonna to try to find some people and uh, get some guests on here. And oh, we got some, we got some yeah. cool, cool guests next week. Uh, next Thursday, we've got uh, our interns. We're showcasing our interns, which is Donnie right behind it. So we got to figure that out, don't we, Donnie? Like, who's gonna run behind the scenes? 
but we'll figure that out. Uh, but we're going to talk a little bit about, yeah, next week I can go ahead and kind of showcase that, um, which is about COVID-19. We're going to talk a little bit about that and how it affected. Um, we got two great interns and, and how it affected them and their school, and uh, they're both seniors. Timmy so, says, now I can't hear y'all. Uh, so you can't, you can't hear? Now I can't hear. Ah, what's up with that? We good? Can you hear us out there? Hey, get, yeah, somebody give me, let me know if you can hear us now. Crystal says, revolution. I love it. I love it. Somebody give me a, uh, a something. Let me know if y'all can hear me or not. We can. All right, we can. All right, good deal. Good deal. All right. So, um, all right. So let's move on to our story. So the story of Transu's Rooter in plumbing. We're actually doing a documentary about this right now, which I'm, 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 uh, you know, I'm going to use that word excited a lot tonight. But I am excited about that documentary. That's going to be showcasing us a little bit. Um, so our story goes back to 2017. We, it was uh, right before we found out, as in Brandy and I, that we were pregnant with our second child. Uh, Aaron and I just had some lunch, and we were just talking about the future. How'd that meeting go? You remember? I mean, look where we are now. <laughs> I mean, there it goes. Started from the bottom, now, now we're here. We're here. <laughs> so, I mean, so it was one of those things where we kind of got together. Aaron's like, hey, man, you know, I want to own a business. And I was like, I do too. I really want to shift and do something so what can we do and I said you know Transu's we, you know Transu septic tank service started in 1951 um, my grandfather is David Redmond and by the way if you guys could please say a prayer for my grandfather David right now um, he's dealing with some health issues um, so everybody just please pray for him um, but he's, he's okay right now just just pray for him but anyways he started uh, in 1978. He took over the Transu Septic Tank um, service, him and his brother Stanley. They took it over in 78 with just a name and a couple of trucks and really made it to one of the largest septic tank companies in the triad. So when we were sitting here thinking about what can we do, you know. Yeah, what's the uh, easiest thing we can kind of transition into that's going to not cost as much money? Because you all know that starting a business is mm -hmm. You know, a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of effort. So we're trying to throw out ideas of, you know, what can we do with, you know, what what we already have, you know, at our at our disposal. So yeah, so that's that's where it stepped in, and I said, hey man, transus. I said, why don't we piggyback off of that? I said, you know, my grandfather told me about five or six years ago, if you could get in the plumbing business, that would be great. So well, I mean, reality of it is. Aaron and I are not plumbers. Um, you know, I've done enough to get me in trouble, and so has he with flip houses and stuff. Um, so that was a challenge. So here we came. We got into it. Um, we got people told us that we couldn't do it, uh, that we were putting the, uh, what are the, the cart before the horse, so to speak, uh, because we're not plumbers. And here we are, uh, two and a half years later, rocking and rolling, growing like crazy. Um, and uh, we're, we're not done. Uh, we're not done. Nowhere close. Nowhere close. Because one of the things that we wanted to do differently was bring customer service back to the trade industry. Yeah, we know business, we know people, we know customer service, and we figured that, hey, once you know those things, you can almost do anything. Yeah. I mean, so, and we wanted to take, I mean, golly, we, we, we interviewed so many plumbers, and they all had the same exact story. I have been plumbing for, you know, 15 years, 13 years, owned my own business at one point. But they couldn't, you know, they couldn't get over the hurdle of being a business person and being able to, you know, do the work as well. So we wanted to take that load off of our team, and I think we've done a, I think we've done a good job so far. And we, golly, man, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna be extremely humble here. We're learning every single day, and it's been a fun ride. Sometimes it's really bumpy, but, uh, but we're learning and we're still here. So, I mean, that's that's a little bit about our story. Our documentary is coming soon. You'll get a little bit more in depth with that. Um, so let's kind of move on to that third, the third why, why people are choosing our company, and uh, that goes right back to what we built this thing on, and we built this on customer service. That was our number one, uh, I guess, rule or whatever you know that we wanted to focus on. Our number one focus, really, um, when we started the business. And you know, Aaron, yeah, we sat down and said, you know, there, so other plumbing businesses out there, like what, what are they lacking? Uh, what are most of them lacking? Because there are some out there that, that do a great job and they understand 
they're, they're really big companies and they, they get it. But there's the majority of plumbing companies, they don't get it. They don't understand the, the uh, quality work, the customer service. And that's something that uh, we understood. And then uh, Brandy, uh, Brandon's wife, she understands really well in her, uh, her background. So we knew that with those tools, we were going to be able to create something great. So. Yeah, and I mean that was that was something to me. I've all, I mean, it's just it goes back to what we've all done, but it even goes back to my grandfather. I mean, he built something just by always treating people right and making sure that the customer was taken care of. I mean, it's as simple as that. And you know, our motto is family you can trust, work you can depend on, and um, and and that's one of the re- the biggest reasons why when when you come to when we come to your house. And if you go look at our Google reviews and, and, and Facebook reviews, Yelp reviews, we are proud to have almost five stars on everything. I mean, we, we take that so seriously here. Um, and one of the biggest reasons is is because we have five core values that we live off of. The first one being work-life balance. And that was something that was brought to, you know, really from Brandy, my wife. Um, that was something that was very important for her as being in retail industry for so long she you know and god you too (laughs) you too you know where you know you got told where you 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 couldn't miss days if if you missed a day because you had a doctor's appointment for your kid you know you were scared that you were gonna get written up and so talk about work-life balance for a second so like for me i had a lot of jobs where there was no work-life balance you're talking about the work-life balance where you know you're not having to you're not working for somebody that works you you know 50, 60, 70 hours a week, doesn't care too much about your, uh, your family. You're, you're more of a number, you know, it's, you don't have time to, you work so hard and so late and so odd hours that you don't have time to spend with your family. You don't have time to, you know, go to your kids' sports games or, or just enjoy, you know, time with your friends. So we really, we've dealt with that personally, uh, and, you know, in the past with other employers and we knew that that's something that, we really want to focus on is one of our core values is to have that balance to where our we can make happy employees, happy owners, happy managers to be able to you know come to work, you know put in their their full effort for those you know eight hours, forty hours a week, and then you know clock out, go do your thing with your family, whatever you you want to do, have that time, and really respect our employees and always have the open door policy to where if they they have something they want to do. We want to work around that, but we always want to, you know, take care of our employees and make sure that they have that work-life balance. Yeah, and I and I think that's that's um, that's so key to everything that we're doing. So I mean, that that work-life balance, but that's one of them, and that's something from our employees that we really wanted to do. Um, then you move on to you know um, respect and professionalism, quality and integrity and those kind of round out our five core values that we stand for and this is the reason why people continue to choose to use us this is the reason why um, we've grown so much here lately Um, like I said it's just it's the whole point of trying to treat the customer right give great quality professionalism you know when we show up to your your house um, we're not in t-shirts and rip blue jeans like I guess you're used for the trade people to look like uh, we're coming here we're, we're we look right I ain't gonna lie to you like we look right we look like professionals and we always you know we always say when you're a service plumber you've made it to the major leagues like that's the major leagues so when we go and we recruit people it's all about the major leagues um, so I think yeah I think the I think the uh, we're switching over cameras yeah I think we're switching over cameras again uh, hold on <laughs> so anyways yeah so i think i think that's that's one of the biggest whys people continue to 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 kind of use us and it's something that we really do take extremely serious and that's why we want it to be different um all right let's move on to the fourth why why our team loves working for us and that's kind of <laughs> I, I kind of contemplated even talking about this because I'm not a you know I'm not a team member. We're the owners, but I will tell you this: um, I feel extremely confident about talking about this because I hear it almost every day. Uh, and actually, I got some team members that are uh, with us right now. So uh, hey, y'all chime in, um, Anthony. I see you. Anthony's been live here with us the whole time. Um, Anthony, y'all, you guys tell us why you love working here. 
I mean, it's it's uh, we really do take the work life balance very seriously. If someone has got to be with their family, please be with your family. We will figure it out, and that's something we take pride into. Um, we make sure that it's you know it's not all about sales. You know what we do. We are a business. Obviously, we're a business, and we got to make money to survive. But it's not we're not sales driven. You know, we concentrate on service. And I think that a lot of our guys come from a very some very large, large, large companies that are sell, 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 sell. Matter of fact, I don't know if Cody's here with us. Um, I haven't seen him come in, but Cody's one of our guys, and and Cody um, will tell you a little bit about one of the big companies that he worked for. And he, you know, every single time that he was on a job, he had to be asked to sell a uh, water softener system every single job, no matter what. So if come out for a stopped up toilet. Still got to sell you, try to sell you a water softener system. That's stupid. That is just stupid. That's not. Soften up my water, bro. I mean, what is that going to do for a stopped up toilet? Hey, I don't want no hard water. <laughs> <laughs> but that hard water is going to stop up your toilet. So anyways, I'm just saying, that's, 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 that's where, where we're different. And I've always told my guys, you know, we are, and we've told our guys, you know, that, hey, listen, we will, there's a lot of great companies that are doing good work for quality price, you know, they're doing all these things. So when we stepped out to be different, we said, you know what, we're gonna be the best working environment that you can possibly have. And I think we've succeeded with that. Yeah, see, Anthony says, uh, what's not to love? Great people, great atmosphere. That's one of my guys, that's Ant-Man. Now we appreciate you and, and Tristan, Tristan, uh, well, hey, look, Tristan popped in and said, heck yeah, Ant-Man, he's one of our, uh, uh, one of our employees. So, man, thanks, guys. We appreciate you. And Batman and Robin. Yeah, we got everybody coming here. I love it. I love it. Yeah, who wants soft water? That's right. That's right, Fletcher. Who wants soft water? I want that strong. Uh, hey, I know what water. kind of water you got in you right now, Fletcher. I, I know what kind of water he's got, the the, the, the yellow kind. Anyways, anyways. anyways that's not Desiree chimed in. What did Anthony, Desiree Anthony's say? wife. Yeah, Anthony's wife. What did she say here? They do focus on family. I can attest. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Love hey, it. driven. We like a driven Anthony. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, like I said, that's just that's that's so important to us that uh that we're driven by our employees, not the opposite way because everybody's had that boss, right? Yep. Everybody's had that boss where, you know, you you know, by an iron fist you rule and that's not the way because there's a difference between a boss and a leader. And, you know, that's something that we take pride into. I don't even, I tell my boys, don't call me boss. Even they like to do it because I think it's habit. I don't like the word boss, you know, because I'm just, I'm just here. But anyways, um, there's some water. <laughs> uh, Fletcher says there's some water in my scotch. Oh, I know that. That's why. I, uh, yeah. Hey, the more you drink, Fletcher, remember this. The more you drink, the longer your eyelashes get. Just remember that. Okay. So, uh. <laughs> Uh, Rhonda, one of our customers, chimed in. She said, great co company service. Appreciate you, Rhonda. Um, all right, moving on to the five. Number five, why we want the forever customer. So why do we want the forever customer? Why is it important to have the forever customer? And what the heck does a forever customer mean? I actually say this when I'm talking to, to a lot of our uh, customers. I'll say at the end of it, I say, listen, my goal is to create you a forever customer. We want you to always call us. Put you, you know, put our put our numbers in speed dial. Give us a call, um, so you don't have to call anybody else. Because that's more important to us than getting the high dollar price and trying to get as much money as the, out of the customer as we possibly can, and then leave. And if they call us back, great. If not, then whatever. That's not how we do it. Ah, we're trying to make you part of our family. That's part of our. It's in our name. It's in our. Our slogan. Yep. Yeah, I mean that's family that's, forever. Uh, and that's 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 the why we want the forever customer. I mean it's and that's what we're looking for. So when our technicians come out to your home, that's what they they've been trained on to do, and that's something. Obviously, um, it's one thing to train your employees to to do something or act a certain way or whatever like that. But I think the most important for us is that we get those people that it becomes easy for them, that their personality fits our culture, and that's so important. So when you come in there, you know you can trust that technician, and at the end of the day, 
that's why we have so many repetitive, you know, uh, re uh, referrals and people that are, you know, calling us back because we are doing a great job and we're creating this for other training behind the scenes yes. with, our, with our yeah. employees. Yep. Because we have a culture, and we we want to make sure that, you know, that our team is constantly in training and the core values are always being taught. Yeah. Everybody's in line, and when it comes to hiring, we do the same thing. We go through the hiring process. We make sure that that individual is going to, you know, fit in with the culture, fit in with our team, and not, you know, not cause any problems. Yeah. So we really focus on on that family atmosphere and and getting people that fit into that culture. Now tell us what Tim just said. Tim's one of our employees as well. Tim just chimed in with something pretty cool. Oh, Tim. Tim says everyone there is great to work with and everyone learns something every day. We like that. And everyone treats you like family. Best place I've worked and best people I've worked for. Now, see, I'm, I'm not, about to cry right I'm now. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Tammy. All right. Woo. Hey, that might be coming at a night so far. I'm just saying. Oh, by the way. Uh oh, talk about it. Let's talk about it. Oh, we don't have our little button. Anyways, uh, comment of the night. At the end, we'll get a $25 Visa gift card. So we've got some really good comments right now coming in. So y'all y'all keep that in mind. We appreciate you guys. So far, Tim, uh, Tim kind of touched our heart a little bit. Even though he's an employee, I mean, or either he's trying to get a day off or something. I don't know what he's trying to do. He might be I trying don't to know, butter Tim. Us up. might be trying to butter us up. Hey, Mary. Mary says, hey, guys. Good to see you. JMS, she's awesome. If you need embroidery, she's got you covered. Um, Cody says, go Panthers. You better believe it. Uh, so, oh, we might have to do a – hey, Cody, Cody, we may have to do a – hey, we may have to do a show to talk about the football season coming up. Just you and I, buddy. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. But anyways, um, so that's why we create the forever customer, and that's why it's part. Six, number six. Let's get on to the very last but not least. Why it's important that you find your why and to stay positive. And this is something that I don't know if you guys know who Gary V is. I'm going to kind of name drop, but Gary V is somebody really cool to follow. He's uh, the Gary V audio experience. Uh, I listen to his audio, um, audio podcast all the time. Uh, he's, he's pretty cool. Um, and he always talks about positivity and how important it is. And so, I mean, he's a big influencer of mine uh, because he runs multi-million dollar, billion dollar companies. Um, and he always talks about staying positive and understanding that, you know, find your purpose and go with it. So that's kind of where I chimed in on is like, find your why. Why is it important to find your why? What are they doing? Are we over here talking? <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing here? Uh, I'm laughing at these comments. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're getting into it, huh? What we got? Somebody's got something up their nose. See, yep. Uh huh. That's our, that's our teammates going after it on another right there. I can't, so I can't look at these right now. <laughs> He's going to start laughing. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Fletcher says, my wife said your texts were very <laughs> nice and offered to clean her pipes. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that, Fletcher. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that, Fletcher. Uh, I will move on. <clears throat> but, uh, but, you know, why find your why, right? What, what's the why? And what I mean is what gets you up every day, right? Like what gets you up every day? It makes you go hard at your job, at, you know, just getting up and trying because life will beat the freaking crap out of you. So what makes you get up? You know, is it your kids? Is it your money? You know, money? Is it, a, is it a, a, you know, all types of different things? And it could be. I mean, I know for me personally, you know, it's, it's, it's my family and my legacy. I mean, that's what gets me up every single day. You know, it's important that that my family, you know, knows that I'm here for them and that I'm doing everything I can to, to you know, create a good atmosphere for, for them. Um, and, you know, having my wife involved in the company now, it's, it's awesome. It's trying, but it's awesome. Um, and, you know, that, that's what gets me up every morning. What gets you up? What's your why? What gets me up in the morning? Uh, my alarm Other clock? Coffee. Your alarm <laughs> clock. Yeah, I bet it does. No, it's, it's very similar. I mean, it's you know, what we're building here with the company and just the future of uh, just the big picture. We're creating jobs for, for people out there so, as people we don't even know. Uh, we're creating uh, a company that you know, people can trust. Just looking at the big picture and, and seeing the, uh, the steps, the progress we're making day by day. Uh, just thinking about that, you know, every night and in the morning, that's just the exciting a feeling of, you know, creating something from nothing. 
Um, like we like yeah. we said earlier, we're not plumbers, but creating you know something from nothing and just just seeing how it's growing and the positivity around it and all that and just always looking forward you know looking towards the future. That's kind of that's the drive. Kind of keeps me going. Now I'm gonna cry again. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but and we share that same thing. I mean, it's that's we know the whole purpose of transus for us is to give it to our kids one day. Um, so, and we want them to go do whatever the heck they want to do, but we want to be able to at least set them up for stuff like that because that's important to us. And, uh, you know, family, family is extremely important. So find your why, you know, I mean, I want you to really think about what is your why? And one of the things that, you know, I was always taught to do was write it down, find out what makes you. Sometimes when you put pen to pad, it'll help you a lot. And Donovan can attest to this because we talk about, uh, you know, with the first T, we always used to talk about goal setting and the difference between dreams and goals are, you know, and writing and writing things down. So, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's, I think it's important that you find your why. And then the second part of that is to stay positive through your why, um, you know, because now this is where it gets knit and gritty, right? I mean, here we are two and a half years into this and we have had, um, we have had a death of one of our technicians at a very early age that when we had momentum, um, that kind of halted us. And a lot of people thought we wasn't going to make it through that because he was kind of our only guy at that point. Um, and we kept on, we kept on, we kept on. And, and, you know, some days it was hard to get up and stay positive through it. Yeah, we've been through <laughs> many, many ups and downs. It's been a roller coaster for sure. Yeah. Especially early on. It's, it's kind of, gotten a lot better uh nowadays but they definitely are not lying when they say the first five years of a business will make or break you yeah Yeah. and we're only in for two and a half two two and a half half years and but we're positive we know that we've built systems in place and we've we've have a strong foundation so we we're very positive about the future yeah and i mean I i think that's that's definitely one of the things that you know will help you is because you build systems you build systems to be positive so we're building systems in our business but how are you building systems in in your life when you wake up because not everything that we do is i mean we're humans so we're who we are you know we're husbands we're fathers we're sons um i mean you know so we 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 carry all types of titles and it's important to us that you know and it's hard i used to be an extremely positive person and then when we started this business, I became a very negative person. So I've been there. I've struggled with it. And I had to go and find my why, and I had to go and find uh, my deep down, you know, positive self and bring them back to the table. And that was hard. And my wife will tell you that was hard. And, and you could, you know, you were right there with me, brother, when we were going through that. So everybody goes through it. And some, some days are dark and some days are light and some days are you know everything in in between but for me the only advice i can give is always look at the big picture oh yeah make your big picture positive and always work towards that and there's gonna always everybody knows i mean life is life you're gonna always run into speed bumps along the way but but hey focus on the big picture you'll be all right yeah because that's that's why i say that's why i said what i said first you know find the why and then make sure you stay positive through it because if you have something that is your why it's a lot easier to refocus that and think about your family or think about whatever it is that you're you're that end goal you know the big picture that you're looking for to get there and also uh, surround yourself with good people yes and that's the most important yeah, cuz talk about it rizzle you are who you hang out with so surround yourself with good people positive people and positivity breeds positivity. You better believe that. You got negative people in your life. You need to either cut them out or limit <laughs> limit the amount of time you're with them because, you know, people bring people up and people bring people down. So yeah, surround yourself with positive people, which is why we, another thing with our company, we try to, you know, we hire people that fit the culture, positivity. Because we know one bad, one bad seed, mm-hmm. you know, can kill the garden or whatever sayings they got out there. But all it takes <laughs> is one you know, one negative person will really, can really ruin a team. So. Hey, and we've dealt with it, and we've had them, and we've had a, you know, we've had to move past that and figure out how to, how to, you know, how to make sure that they either fit our culture or we have to move on. So, you know, um, and I think that's that speaks volumes to, it's hard. Look, I think I know from a plumbing company side that we have a lot of, 
a lot of plumbing companies, and I'm not saying any names, and it's not all of them, but a lot of them do. Come on in, work with us for a little bit, and we'll see how you pan out. I, I struggle with that. You know, we struggle with that because I want to be able to, I mean, it, you know, everybody, especially my guys, they know there was a lengthy process here to get hired on, on us because we take what we do very serious. It is more important to me and our company to find the right person, not necessarily to trade because the trade could be tall. But if you're already a good person, then I know that you're, you're going to fit our mold. Um, and I think that's that's the most valuable part that we can give to you as customers or future customers is that you know that when you get somebody coming to your house, you're getting a good person. You're not you're not getting a salesman or a liar or you know because it, it, you know that's just that's important. That's important to us, and that's for sure. So stay positive and find find your why and stay positive through it all. And that's. Uh, that's all the whys. That's all the whys. That's, that was all six whys. I know we got some questions of the night here. Let's wrap to, up this show with a, yeah. with a comedy. The comedy yeah, Oh, portion. my God. There's some comedy <laughs> stuff here. This is uh, – y'all are killing me right now. Uh, Aaron, I don't know if y'all heard Aaron. Aaron's like, I can't look at this. I can't look at this while I'm talking because he's cracking up. Jay Wood says uh, – oh, Jay, one of my former interns. Uh, <laughs> he's loving on oh, you. Oh, he's trying to get – no, nah, he's trying to get that $25. I mean, he might have won it. He says, Brandon is one of the best people I've ever <laughs> – I don't want to read this. Brandon's one of the best people I've ever met and I've looked up to since. I already know he runs an amazing company and we'll let uh and we'll use him in the future. Appreciate you, Jay. Your future's bright, Jay. Uh, you still suck at fantasy football, but I do appreciate that. Um <laughs> Oh, I need more boy band stories, I will. Oh yeah, Ryan, uh, Ryan keeps talking about this boy band stuff. So Y'all need to chill with that boy band and the frosted tip stuff. Y'all don't oh, boy, yeah, he was he was big on that. <laughs> But I, I was too. Ain't gonna lie. I'm a you big, I'm big. I you did. Had I did tips. at one point when I had hair. Yeah. Yeah. You, you had some long hair back in the day. I did. I see. Uh, what else we got? Uh, <laughs> mom goes. Vicky, call me. Hey, Vicky. Hey, Vi call mom, please. That this is y'all's communication thing here. So we got. Uh, what else we got? Let's see. I know they've been talking about no more scotch for uh, for Fletcher tonight. <laughs> yeah. All right. Evan says, go go Colts in Rivers We Trust. Really? Come on, guy. You really think that that, that old man's going to gonna pull you through some wins? I thought you had a good one anyways. But, uh, but you know, you know how it goes. I don't know. Which, uh, what do you think here, guys? Hey, uh, Donnie, you looking at the feed? Who, who, who gets uh, that $25 gift card tonight? What you think? Joel ain't getting it. Joel is cracking on me. Look, about my, my headshot in the BNI slash. Y'all pulled something like I just walked out of bed. They pulled, I don't you didn't see that. That was, they, they I gotta see this this headshot. No, nah, they did me dirty. But I but we fixed it, didn't we, Donnie? We fixed that headshot. All right, let's see. Evan for commish twenty twenty. Nope, that ain't happening. Who we got? Who we got? Who gets who gets the I'll let you pick. You pick. Who gets that twenty five dollar gift card tonight? So we can get out of here and everybody go to bed. What time is it? Oh, we ain't done too bad. Oh, man, I don't episode. know, man. Come on. I mean, it Tim almost funny. made me cry, but he's an employee, so I don't know. Hey, right. We haven't made any rules yet, so I don't know. I think I think Tim gets it. I mean, I'm down with it. I think Tim gets it. All right, Groot. Tim, a.k.a. Groot. Groot. You win that $25 gift card, fam. Woo! Woo! Hey. Post a headshot, yeah, that said. Post the headshot. Who is? Nah, we ain't Is that, that Brandon who's logged yeah, in? Under, doing that. Who's logged in as us? <laughs> Crystal said you better give it to your mom. Crystal, you know you ain't joking either. I'm going to have to slip her a he's $20 on, bill. He's on a seat. He'll slide her some money <laughs> on the side. <laughs> to do that later. She... <laughs> I knew I knew, I knew, knew Jay was going to come back because Jay was trying hard. He was, he was trying real hard. But um, but listen, we do appreciate you guys. Uh, we're coming to you next Thursday night. We're going to do the same time until uh, further notice. Until this flip house is until done. Until this flip house is done. You know, my man over here. He's I got too many jobs going on. I got my 40-hour my week financial job. Mm -hmm. I got my flip house I'm working on with my parents and uh, the plumbing company. So yeah. I'm too busy, but it's all good. Staying positive. Stay positive, my friend. 
Stay positive. All right. We appreciate you guys. Same time here next week, next Thursday, 930. You're not going to want to miss this. It's going to be um, even our- better. We're working through our technical difficulties. Yeah. Each and week we're going to we'll have, we'll have some improvements every week. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm extremely. Grow, grow with us. I am plum positive about that. Yeah, be, like Groot, be like Groot and grow with us. That's right. That's right. But uh, so we'll see you back here next week. We're going to be talking about COVID-19. So stay tuned. Uh, We're going to have our great interns on. That's what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to make that happen. I think we can make that happen. Um, So anyways, we appreciate you guys for chiming in. We really, really do appreciate you guys. And remember, call us for all your plumbing needs. We are here for you. And we take this stuff seriously. So now at least you know how seriously we take it. And you get to see behind the scenes kind of what's going on. So until further notice. Love you guys. Love you. Your family. Yep. See ya. Bye.